Hey there, welcome back to Pepper Geek. It's time for an update on our Dorset Naga plants. It's been about three months since we planted the seeds for these plants, and as you can see, a lot has changed since then. These took a long time to germinate, over three weeks, and some of them didn't come up for over a month, but they finally emerged and started growing pretty well. A few weeks after sprouting, I transplanted them into those three and a half inch containers where they grew for another few weeks, until they were ready for another transplant into these one and a half gallon nursery pots. So they've been living in these pots for a while and they're growing pretty well, but I will say they're not growing as fast as I was expecting or hoping. Both plants have severe cases of edema, which is a disorder of the plant where the plant is taking up too much water and it's not transpiring enough through the leaves as it normally should. I assume this is because our grow space indoors is full of plants right now and it's very humid in there, so the plants can't really get rid of enough water as they take it up. We've tried improving aeration and thankfully the weather has begun to warm up so we can open the windows and get some fresh air into the room, and we've begun hardening these plants off outside. So I do think that the plants are fine and hopefully the transition outside will go smoothly and will improve the growth rate of these plants. Very soon they'll be going into their final growing containers which will be very big pots and there will be another video all about that process because I'm going to be doing something pretty special for one of them. The other will just be going into a large container with potting soil, Fox Farms, Happy Frog, we're just going to see what it can do this year and we might add a few amendments here and there. As a reminder these were both planted in late January and compare that to the rest of our peppers which were planted in late March, two months later, there's quite a discrepancy in size. And the reason is, of course, we're trying to get the most Dorset Naga chilies off of each of these plants as we compete with our fellow YouTuber Chili Chump. So definitely go check out his updates as well. Like I said, another video will come soon on transplanting these into their final pots, along with creating a unique growing environment for one of them. If you decided to compete with us, let us know how your Dorset Nagas are doing. Are they bigger, smaller? Are you having the same issues with edema that we're having? Let us know in the comments below. Stay tuned for the next update on our Dorset Naga challenge. Thanks for watching Pepper Geek, and I'll see you soon.